this Sunday evening of worship with the Holy Ghost so present. I'm refreshed. I'm strengthened. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty Jehovah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, High Priest and Intercessor. I'm going to include my part. That is all that God has given me by saying I appreciate the message for the heart that delivered. And uh, I appreciate the congregation that is worshiping tonight and has worshiped today. I have nothing to complain about. Everything to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Everything. God is doing a great work. I want to read the, the Lord said, read the 27th Psalm. And I'm going to read it. I'm not going to comment on it. Just read it. Verse 1, Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life and behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock, and now my head shall, uh, now my head be lifted up above mine enemies around about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing. Yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me. And answer me. When thou settest, seek you my faith. My heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not. Neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Then the Lord will take me up. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I'm glad to be here tonight. Please, God. Feel healing and moving and miracles over this place. All over you can feel it. So close, so near. It's right here with us. Praise God. When my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path. Because of mine enemies, deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty, I have fainted. 
Yes, I would have. I have fainted. Yes, I have. Dear Lord. I have fainted. Unless. 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 Yes, sir. I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Yes. Land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Keep free to wait. Wait upon the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. sees a sparrow fall yeah, and she was a little sparrow and God saw her fall. He said, is there a sparrow that can fall? You think he was talking about not only about the bird? That's right, if God cares for the sparrow, don't you know he cares for me? Absolutely. He said he saw the sparrow fall and not one could fall. Not one. I looked at the prettiest little bird the other day yeah. lying at the doorway of a nursing home I was going in. Most beautiful little bird, all the beautiful colors. <coughs> I, I couldn't identify the bird, but I'm not a bird watcher and I, I couldn't identify. But such a beautiful, tiny, fragile little bird lying there never to fly again. But he said he knew about that. I believe him. I believe my God is that great. Nothing can escape him. Nothing. Praise God. So he sees the little sparrow called a young woman fall. He sees the tragedy of our lives. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen to the reading of God's word. Praise God for his word. I shall read it again before I go to bed tonight. I sleep with it. I walk with it. His word. His word. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> We've had a great day. We've had a great weekend. And the Lord has been good. And the Lord is good. And the Lord will continue to be good to this family, the family of God on this earth. And I'll live with you. I'm content. I'd rather live with you than the family in the world. Because this is the family on earth. Paul said, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and in earth is made. I want to walk with you. I want to be with you. I feel safer with you. I feel safer tonight. When I go to bed and know that I'm part of this family, I'm not alone. And you're not alone. And we're not alone. And then think of this. Outside of the family we know here in our local church, there's thousands upon thousands. Yes. And 
one day there will be 10,000 times 10,000 around the throne of God. And we will look over and see people there from every nation, kindred, and tongue will be around the throne of the Lord. Amen, brothers. Praise the name of the Lord. Our family will keep growing. It's going to keep growing. The family of God is going to keep growing until finally the little stone taken out of the mountain that Daniel saw in the second chapter of Daniel without hands is going to grow to fill the whole earth. I feel good about the cause I'm in tonight. Satan doesn't have a chance to tempt me with going back, going back. Oh, get away, get away. You know, you know, the devil does not ever come around me even with that thought. I've got him so convinced I am not going back. I will never go back. The world behind me, the cross before me, that he doesn't even bother me with that. I've got him convinced. It's a hopeless deal. He'll never sell me. Never happen. So you get him that way. Yeah. Get him where he never bothers you. Well, I may go back. I may fall. I may give in. I'm discouraged. I'm weary. I'm tired. No. Praise God. We've had a great day. No oh, Lord, have Do we need to, any announcements? Anything that brushes up? I know tomorrow evening is always our Bible study. And I turn to the choir and the band, Sister Teresa, what's the word for tomorrow night? We have band practice tomorrow night. And right, I we're going to meet. all the band members. I will personally make calls to all the band members. She's going to make calls. I mean, I'll be calling everybody I can. We See, we want the band here tomorrow night. Praise yeah. God. If you yeah. play an instrument, um, and, and let's, let's, get the, let's get the number of the band that's going to be I want the band to be in practice, and then we, the, the chairs we don't need, we'll remove them from the platform because we don't want empty chairs. We want we want uh, God's people to come in and see soldiers on the wall. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's pray for all those away. We had a lot of people at Mother's Day, and we have people from here to Yon uh, that have the. I've been seeing families, and um, and we have Sister Phyllis uh, in uh, Indiana. We want to remember her and not forget that she's up there. And we want to pray for Brother uh, Leroy Ware right over here that's really dealing with a severe case of infection uh, now that he's going di on dialysis, and he's been very weak. Keep him in prayer. Keep Sister Judy shot. If you would like to visit the shocks, they're on the grounds. Uh, take her a little something to let her feel good about that the church has not forgotten her in any way. And uh, we'll just, uh, I know Brother Hank is here tonight, but I know Brother Hank has been carrying a lot of load on his shoulder over there with Sister Judy. And let's remember her, don't forget her and keep her. Thank God for the healing of Bill's palsy tonight. Sister Michelle came up absolutely stricken with it. Her face, she's been dealing with it, and her face was bothering her. Pain was in her face tonight. But she said, Brother Marlowe, it's leaving my throat. It's leaving my face. It's going away from me. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's shout again for the healing of God. the name of the Lord. What a miracle. What a miracle. What a miracle. And we're believing God. And we want to remember uh, then the, uh, the sisters that are here tonight and want to meet early Wednesday night in the dining room at 6.30. We have fellowship in there. And all the sisters of our church that are not working available. You want to hear about uh, the uh, work of serving in a church, seeing the sick, uh, going to the home sometimes, visiting, and uh, taking uh, food when necessary and other things, prayer before food. Uh, to other sisters that have need, uh, 
we'll have that little meeting Wednesday night. We had one last Wednesday night, it was good. We'll have a follow-up one Wednesday night. And if you're a sister in the church, you can be there, be informational, uh, inf informative for you, and you'll enjoy it. 6.30 to 7, that would be. And then, of course, mid midweek service. Before that, the bilingual service Tuesday night. And I was in the bilingual service this morning, and we had a tremendous meeting, and the Lord came in and blessed. So let's don't forget one time of gathering together with the family of God. Keep the church exciting, uh, keep it on track, and uh, pray much for the meetings this week. Uh, we usually finish out with Port Charlotte. Uh, that's a growing mission. Uh, the steward is being blessed to the Lord. Sister Stewart, they're sacrificing, driving, laboring, working. Praise God, hurrying back to the church here. I was coming to the church today at two o'clock and I was just about going to be late. Uh, but uh, I think, I, did I pass you, Teresa? Uh, I think I did, didn't I? <laughs> After I passed you, I saw you in my review mirror, and I said, well, she's coming, and I'm going. Praise God. And uh, so uh, I tell you, they, they drive a lot of miles on the highway on Sunday. Let's keep working until Jesus comes. And tonight, uh, I'm going to let you come. I, I, I think if we, if we would receive a Sunday night offering of whatever God will let be in that box tonight, I'll say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Uh, thank you for it. Uh, we've given last night, many of us, today, many of us, uh, we're going to give some tonight, all that can. I trust and have confidence and faith will put it into the offering box before you leave. And God will bless you in your giving. Uh, be conscientious about your giving. And God will use you and bless you for it. I know he uses and blesses all of us that are giving to the Lord. Praise God. And even if you forget it, you're going out the door. Uh, Brother Ernest just sent the offering basket back there. Uh, so thank you being on the job. Did the Spirit quicken you to do that? Amen. Amen. They said they have flowers left. That you, you oh, yes. Give them. You mothers that did not get flowers today, the gift from the church. Sister Gloria, there's a flower for you back there. You're a mother, and a lovely mother, and we want to give you a flower. Uh, you mothers that did not get flowers, we have some left at the door, and the ushers will hand them to you as you go out, because we have several, I believe, left. And anyone here that didn't receive one, uh, then get one if you are a mother in the church. Praise God, praise God. And then there's Brother Josh. Uh, let's build the youth up, ages 13 and up. Uh, tell other youth about it Thursday night. The youth uh, uh, program is revitalized and been re uh, resurrected. And be here at 7 p.m. Thursday night, 13 and up. Uh, you can come and bless the Lord. Praise God. All the soldiers, come out of your barracks. Yes. Get your weapons. Yes. Let's get ready to march. All in. Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Now, if we, we have plenty of flowers, it looks like, left. So if you mothers that did get a flower, you get a flower. And then if you want to wait a moment and there are flowers left, we'd rather you take two or three home rather than leave them here. Praise the name of the Lord after everybody is served. All right, could we just rise up? Remember your offering, as I said. Let's give the Lord a praise offering for this great Sunday night. All right, I'll wait till you all arrive. I'll wait till you all get ready to give your hands upward and your heart outward. And let's give the Lord a praise offering. In the name of Jesus, I give you the praise. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. I give you the praise, I give you the praise, I give you the praise. And everybody said amen, and amen, and praise the name of Jesus. We exalt him and worship him. Don't forget Brother Dale Wilson recovering from surgery. Brother Dale and Sister Joan Wilson.
Praise God. May the Lord bless you real good. Take time to say hello to somebody before you say good night. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mix and mingle one with another, and the Lord bless you. Real good. Real good. All right. You be careful going home. I'll be only going to. Sister Brenda. Sister Brenda. Put this in mind. I'm too old to travel.